Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm here to do another small shop spotlight. And today we are going to be talking about Painting with Pities. Now, um, Painting with Pities is owned by Brie, who is a YouTuber. She's on Instagram and she has her small shop. So if you've been around, you know that Brie is my bestie. <laughs> so I'm really excited to be uh, sharing what I picked up. Now, I have an order here from, I think it was the beginning of November. It was a pre-order though. And then I also have the winter advent box. So I'm going to open this first. And if you also ordered the advent box and you don't want it spoiled, I will give you a warning before we start opening this. So let's start with this little package here, which I am very excited for. I have a variety of things in here. So well, let's get everything out. I already pulled my receipt out and I am opening this upside down because I have or my shipping information is on the top. So let's put that over there. And okay, I'm so excited. Uh, first thing, I ordered a few of her. These were her Halloween colors for her paw print trash minders. I have, I'm looking at my minder board. I have a few from Brie. Um, you guys know that I do like to keep my trash separate for my post reviews. So I love having different little containers and things to put my trash in. It just makes it a bit more fun. So I picked up three colors and I don't know. It looks like the names are on the invoice. I just don't know which one is which. So we'll try to figure that out. Well, let's get these out. So we have a little paw print. I believe this one is Spooktacular. I don't know. <laughs> I think this one is Spooktacular. Um, and these are cover minders. So you can see there's a magnet there. There's a magnet on the back. Come on. <laughs> so this minder is actually embedded in the resin, which I love because you don't have to worry about it falling off the back. And then, wait a second, why do I have two? I think I have an extra, I do, I have an extra minder. Brie, were you short a minder? Because I have, well, because <laughs> I have the extra, or I had the extra, I guess. Um, so I love that it's embedded in the resin. You only have to keep track of one minder. This one isn't going to fall out. Uh, so here is the first one. And then... I think this one is trick or treat. I could be totally wrong. Look at the holographic glitter on that one. I feel like this one could pass for like New Year's colors too. I mean, I know it's like heavily orange, but with the holographic, it kind of looks like the confetti that falls <laughs> on New Year's. So there's that one. And then this one I am fairly certain is Witch's Brew. Super pretty. Can't wait to use these. And then I did pick up two putties. I'm so excited for that. Okay, I have the bergamot broomstick and cauldron brew. Ooh, this one smells really good. Cauldron brew is very cinnamony. Ooh, that's really nice. And then we have bergamot broomstick. Ooh, that smells different than I was anticipating. I don't know why. Look at the pretty gold shimmer. This smells really good. It smells different than I was expecting, but in a good way. <laughs> okay, and then we also have, is this a Squishmallow sticker? Please, please tell me it's a Squishmallow. It is. Look how cute. <laughs> I don't know which one that is. I just think Squishmallows are cute. Um, but we have a business card. There is a coupon code there, so I'm not going to show that. And then we have, it's okay if all you did today was diamond paint, which I love because some days it just do be like that. Love that. Okay, so this is the item that I pre-ordered. So the everything else just came with my pre-order which was totally fine 
um, and what I was expecting anyway, but this is one of her paw print holders. And this, I don't remember what color this is. I don't see it on the invoice, but look at this. So I think everybody's came with the black glitter around the outside and then you got to pick your color for the little paw. I picked this really beautiful blue glitter and then the sides are that color. Let me get some goodies to put in here. <laughs> Let's see, we have a pen, we have some tweezers, we can do like a little pair of scissors. Look how cute, that's gonna look so cute on my drafting table. I love it, super cute. Okay, so now I'm going to go into opening up the advent calendar. Now I ordered the winter theme, um, so if you ordered one of the others, she had Christmas, winter, and Hanukkah. Uh, if you ordered one of those other boxes, it could be and probably will be similar. I believe all the putty scents are the same. Uh, it's just the theming of your uh, resin items that will be different. So I picked the winter box. In here we have, I believe, 10 putties, one large item, and then one small handcrafted item. So... Again, if you don't want a spoiler for the advent, go ahead and click off this video. Um, and if you're okay with seeing, we will proceed. So spoiler warning has been said. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> All right. Ooh, my invoice is on tap. Hold up. Ooh, okay. I'm so excited. I don't, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but... Um, I love unwrapping things with my advent calendar, so <laughs> I'm really excited for this. We have some Hershey's. I don't know what flavor these are, though. Cookie? Sugar cookie? What? Sugar cookie Hershey Kisses? All right, I might have to bring Steven in for a taste test for those. <laughs> All right, let's go. Should we start with number one? Ooh, I think this is a trash minder. It is, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Now, I did have a little heads up that the winter theme would have penguins in it, which is why I ultimately decided to go for the winter box. You guys know I love Christmas. And had the boxes been, like, had different items, I probably would have gotten both. But I felt like I could use the winter ones for a lot longer. I could start using them now, and I could use them through, like, March here in New York. But also... My grandmother loves penguins. <laughs> she lived with us for uh, a while when I was a kid. And instead of having our friends call her like Mrs. Her last name, she went by Popper, like Mr. Popper's penguins. So when I saw the penguins, I knew that I needed to go with the winter box. So pretty sure the theming is going to be white, blue, and then penguins. And I just think that's so pretty. I cannot wait to work on this or work with this uh, throughout the season. I think it's super cute. I love it. Okay, let's go to number two. This is so exciting. I love opening presents. <laughs> okay, first up, we have all snuggled up. Look at these bags. They're holographic. They're so cool. Okay. I am very bad at describing scents, so I'm just going to show you. Oh my god, that's so cute. It's a snowflake. Oh, wow. I love that one. It's the first one. I'm like, I love it. It's my favorite. <laughs> that smells really good. I love the snowflake. I wonder if you got the other um, boxes, if your little stamped things are different. All right, day three. Ooh, balsam, yes. This is like, I love the smell of Christmas tree. Oh my God, absolutely, yes. 100%, this smells amazing. I feel like I'm gonna make like a favorites pile. So I'm gonna put my favorites over here. <laughs> Watch all of them end up in the favorites pile. Okay, number four winter mittens oh 
Ooh, this smells like a candle that I can't pinpoint, but it smells amazing. We have another little glittery snowflake. I think this is going to go in the favorites pile. I said they were all going to end up there eventually. Hot cocoa. Ooh, I can't wait for this one. Ooh. Wait, why does that actually smell like hot cocoa? Okay. I feel like this is going to be Steven's favorite. <laughs> smells very good. I'm very much a, like, outdoor doorsy type scent person. I like the food scents, but I definitely I definitely lean towards like naturey scents. Okay, this one is holiday cookies. Ooh, that smells so good. It smells like a sugar cookie. Ooh, I like that one. I like that one very much. Alright, number seven. What do we got? What do we got? Spiced cranberry. I love Bree's little stickers. They're always so cute. Oh, this one slid a little bit. Hold on. Come back. Ooh. I like that a lot more than I thought I was going to. Generally, cranberry scents can be a little overwhelming for me, but this one smells really nice. That might go in the favorites pile. Who am I? Yeah, I think I'm going to put that one in the favorites pile. I like that one a lot. All right, number eight. Electric apple. Ooh. We got. Ooh, this one's a fun colorway. Ooh, that smells good. It's much like it's a little bit fainter than some of the other putty smells. Sometimes I feel like they can be like pew. This one is really nice, actually. I like that one a lot. Alright. We're almost done. Wah. What is this one? Sweet potato and brown sugar. Okay. Ooh. This smells like something else. Why do I like that so much? <laughs> I'm sorry that all you guys are hearing in the background is me sniffing. But I actually like that one. I don't think there's been one that I haven't liked yet. So that's pretty impressive. All right, number 10, cinnamon buns. Let's see. Oop, this one slid a little bit. Get you back where you belong. Ooh, I love this one. So cinnamon buns <laughs> are a tradition in my family, like on all major holidays. It's always cinnamon buns for breakfast. So I remember when I was a kid, we would come down and there would be cinnamon buns sitting right there on the coffee table while we opened presents. So I love that one. It smells really good. All right, number 11. And then we've got our big one. What is this one? Ooh, holiday wreath. Look at the little dog nose. <laughs> That's so cute. Ooh, I love this one. Yep, it's like Christmas tree smell. Absolutely love it. So I think I actually split in half. So I have five in my favorites pile and I have five in my, I still love them, but they're not favorite pile. So let's do a quick rundown of the scents. We have holiday wreath, cinnamon buns, spiced cranberry, winter mittens, and balsam. And then on this side, we have sweet potato and brown sugar, electric apple, holiday cookies, hot cocoa, and all snuggled up. Cute. All right. Let's do the big one. This is going to be one of Bree's resin trays, which I have. I have one out right now. I can't remember if I have one or two. Look. Look at the glitter. This is so cute. Look, the little penguins are the rim. Stop. That is so cute. I love that. I love the silver glitter. This is going on my desk right now to hold all my, all of my goodies. Cute. 
love it okay so that is my small shop spotlight highlight whatever for <laughs> painting with pities um let me know if you have shopped with brie i don't know what's going on with her store if she's got anything in stock right now but i will leave her linked down below i know that these boxes are sold out um but i will leave her links down below so you can check out her channel her instagram her website um and go from there so thank you guys so much for watching today's video um i think today is thursday i'm filming a little bit in advance so i will see you guys back here for post review friday and i'm going to send you guys into the advent clip for today hello everybody welcome back <laughs> this is day number seven what are we going to get today what do you think we're gonna get christmas romance or fantasy historical I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. I think I know what it is. Oh, yeah. This is a gothic fantasy. Ooh. It's the first book in a duology called One Dark Window. I don't remember what the, like, the series is called. But anyway, there it is. Nice. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.